Hello everybody, it's me Sam here in Torrent Group Gaming and today we're going to be showing you the Core Protect 2 plugin for Bucket by Intelli and Andy Hong. Uh, so Dan, what does this plugin do? Well, Core Protect is a fast, efficient data logging anti griefing tool. Uh, rollback can restore any amount of damage. Designed with large servers in mind, Core Protect will record managed data without impacting your server performance. So this is probably a successor, well it is an successor to the Big Brother plugin, which is Oh, that came out very early on in Bucket. I remember, I remember Big Brother. It was a very, very popular plugin. So, um, yeah, this probably succeeds it. And from right here, it's very good. So, yeah. Sam, would you like to cover the first commands? Um, I'd just like to just say it does uh, not require my SQL. Um, it does rely on SQL Lite, but you won't have to config anything for that. But yeah, let's start with the commands. So the main command is slash co, and it just tell you all the commands help. And the first thing it does is sort of log when a player places a block or destroys a block or does an action. So let's just give myself some stone. Okay, well, there you go. So if I do COI, which is inspect, I'm now in inspector mode. Now, what I can do is I can left click blocks. Now you can see there, it'll tell you anything that's changed to this block. So it says, well, no hours ago, because you literally just placed it, uh, the ID and tells you what it is if it knows the ID. So if I now left click again you can see you uh, first of all place down the grass block then you removed it and then you place down the gold block and all these work the same. Oh, yeah. uh, what you can also do is you, if you want to see where a block was, say where this gold block is, well where this stone block was you just simply right click on the side of a block. So if I wanted to see this gap here, let's right click at the top. And you can see there, you remove the gold block. Let's show it. Okay. So here's a bit we made earlier. Um, you'll notice that, um, could you uh, <laughs> spam, like, destroy and open it? Destroy and uh, open yeah, it. Yeah. Just so we have a few pages. That's going to be enough, yeah. Yeah. If you right click, you can see there he's placed and removed it. And if we destroy it, we can see a heck of a lot more. So we've got Corporate Tech, we've got 12 pages now of edits. To change through pages, we can do C O L and then say page 12. You can see the very first placement was me, not uh, point one four hours ago. And then I can go. CL1, and you see the most recent change is that you placed it a block of iron just now. Yep. Okay, so that's the inspector mode. Uh, okay. We can also place blocks as well to see uh, exactly the same where. So if you destroy it, you can just right click and it will give us the same as right clicking the side of a block. Say there's water or something, we can just use that way. Um, and we can also do it on chest, so let's place it on a chest. I'll have to search one first. There we go. I-54. And would you like to put something in it just to... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now if I right click it... Oh, you have to uh, not be using it. Oh, sorry. And there we go, you can see all the additions uh, for the container transactions. So if you remove stuff from the chest, or you add it to a chest, then it, it will log it. Uh, same things for doors, buttons, levers, dispensers, uh, brewing stands. All container all, items and oh, doors yeah, and stuff. They all work the same thing. So there you go, you got removed and added and whatnot. Okay, so that's basically the inspector. Let's see how I to disable it. And let's look at the next one. The next one is rollback. So if we do CO help rollback. Um, it will give you some information on how to roll back. So, for the rollback, basically players can do what they like. So, say I make a stupid little house, and the admin comes on and he's like, "Oh, Wait, well, really... what is, what's this house, Sam? What's going on?" Yeah, it's it's <laughs> it's, ter it's terrible, right? So I can actually undo uh, what I've done by doing co rollback, and then parameters. So you have the at the moment six parameters. 
you have the user, so Sam Pio. I can define as many users as I like, so I can define next torrent as well. Or I can just leave it blank for no specification who uses. The time as well, so I can have like one hour and five minutes, for instance, and you can add that to days um, and stuff, so one day, for instance. Uh, the radius, so this is the radius around where you are. Uh, again, you have to specify this, it will do everywhere. So let's just have a radius five. And then you've got the action. So A, colon. And this will restrict the rollback to a certain action. So I can uh, restrict the action to just blocks being in place by doing block. Uh, all I can do is do plus block for blocks being placed, minus block for blocks being destroyed. So I'll do plus block. Did you put some. Can you remove that? Because it will mess up when we. Oh, yeah, there you go do that and I can have for instance other things such as uh, kill, chat and that sort of thing. Well, I'll leave that for blank for now. And then you have blocks as well so we've only got stone so let's just have one but again I can specify nothing and then exclude blocks is the exact same uh, so I can exclude for instance uh, let's have say two. So hit enter and as you can see it rolled back my edit and uh, changed it all. So people can grief on your server and you can just simply roll back their edits and it will undo all their griefing just like that. Am I really going to have to do that now? <laughs> yeah, go on. Let's go demonstrate it. Okay. Curl back user extra time. You can do it one minute. <laughs> and radius. Uh, Oh, fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So that's how that works. But say I your griefing was actually really high class. Yeah. And I was impressed by your griefing really. I can do the opposite of a rollback and do a restore. So KO restore. And then it has the exact same parameters, so user uh next well, uh time we did what ten seconds, let's do two minutes just in case. And radius was five. And there we go. Oh, we had to do a try. Sphere try rolling that back. Try rolling the sphere back, which was made by World Edit. I don't think so. Oh damn it! I can read. I can. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> I know. Um, so there we go. The destroyed bit on the floor now. It has been restored, so your grief can be rolled back and rolled forward. Uh, however you like. Okay, so the next command is look up. So help look up. So this just this is just simple. Just it allows you to look up stuff. So we saw it to go through the pages. We can also look up types of stuff. So C O L type say two, and you see it's grass block. Just type in fifty six. See it's diamonds ore. It just allows you to see what the uh, ID of certain things are. Uh, next is purge, so we do co help purge, see in this a bit. And simply you can just purge the data older than a specific time. Uh, so we do co purge time 30 days. And that will oh. purge any data older than 30 days in the database. So your database might get a bit big after a while, so you can purge this uh, as and when you like. Just to let you know. And if anyone doesn't know what purge means, it just deletes it. Basically, yeah. And finally, we just have two simple commands co reload, which reloads config, and co version. It just shows your current version, what storage, uh, the links, and sponsors. So, I believe that is all. Anything else you'd like to add? No, there's uh, quite a few simple commands. Well, not simple commands, but quite. Um, they've done a good job of making a uh, few commands as possible with quite a big plugin, actually. Yeah. That's really um, good. It was requested by some of our yeah a lot of people subscribe so, so, yeah. yeah so I hope this was useful uh, thanks for watching this has been me Sam Kim, from Roof Gaming signing out see you later guys.